Good morning and welcome to Wallaby Holland, where we're here because it's a very special day today for a couple of different reasons. The main one being it's actually our sixth anniversary Yay! today, which is incredible. Six wonderful years with Charlotte. I just want to say a big thank you to everything that she's done over the years. Wow. And of course, as we're on YouTube right now, a big thank you to everything she's done for the channel. <laughs> um, you, you really are great. You do wow. so much. Uh, when you send in any messages to us, uh, Charlotte's the one who replies. So thank you so much for everything. Uh, and the other special reason is is we're here to ride Untamed, yes. which is Charlotte's first RMC. Yes. Like you've heard me go on about RMC so for a excited. few years now. Yeah, you're looking forward to yeah, it? Yeah, I can't wait. Oh, no, we're gonna get to ride Untamed. It's opened on the 1st of July. It's a conversion of the former Robin Hood wooden roller coaster. And uh, yeah, we're in for another hot one today. Yesterday, we had record temperatures in the Netherlands at Toverland. Of, uh, it was 39 degrees we ended up on. It's supposed to be 40 today. Supposed to be 40 today, which is gonna be absolutely crazy. There's not much shade here like Toverland. Yeah. Toverland you've got the inside bit whereas here we're just going to be out in it all day. Yeah we are. With the wasps. Yeah so a wallaby wasp we called it last time. There was a lot of wasp activity last September. Yeah. I'm hoping that it's going to be a bit too hot for the wasps today. Well I bought wasp repellent. One flew at us <laughs> earlier and it flew off straight away. Um, so we've literally covered ourselves <laughs> in wasp repellent. We'll see what happens. Yeah. Like It sounded like it said wash repellent there. <laughs> wash repellent. But yeah here we are it's going to be a hot day but to be honest it doesn't look like it's going to be really busy half an hour to go until opening and there's about five or six cars on the car park and uh, yeah hardly like there's no one here really at the entrance there's like one bloke or so down there just park hours today are 10 until 8 last night they did a late night opening here a bit yeah, like toverland so i'm kind of hoping that a lot of people came for the late night opening meaning that today might be a bit quieter uh, that's what i'm hoping for of course we get to ride on untamed and uh, yeah i'm really looking forward to it it's going to be a great day uh, but here we go welcome to wallaby holland where today's the day charlotte rides the first rmc Yay! tower anniversary and yeah can't wait for untamed Here we go then, so we've just walked through the new themed area of Wilderness where we've made it down to Untamed and wow, look at the trains. I'd say the trains actually look a lot better in person than what I was expecting. I don't think photos and video do them justice to be honest. And I'll tell you what, it seems really weird being here and this ride being completely converted from Robin Hood that was a former uh, wooden roller coaster uh, built by Vacoma. That closed last year. We actually came and was some of the last riders on that when we was here last September. And uh, yeah, then RMC have come in and completely transformed this ride. And of course the park have gone with this nice theme with it as well. Something very different. And I must say the station up there looks fantastic. Uh, now in terms of the park today, we paid what, 32 euros? 32 euros to get in. And parking was 8 euros, euros 50, 50, wasn't it, for parking? So here we go. What do you think? to the look of it like Amazing. it looks great doesn't it Charlotte's first RMC the good thing is today as well at the park we've been given permission to film on the main yeah. roller coasters so we're gonna have POVs from the likes of this Goliath Lost Gravity uh, which is really good so I, I think we'll probably try it at the back first and then of course get round and do a front row and show you that POV later on in the vlog uh, but yeah also I want to say a big thank you to the park because what have they given us Charlotte Fast lane today. They so gave us fast lane. So that's really good. We bought a ticket online and then we got here this morning and they were like, yeah, we're yeah. going to give you fast lane, really even though fine. it doesn't look that busy to be honest. Yeah, it's like, not that busy, a few more have come in since we filmed the intro. But so thank you very much. Yeah, thank you very much yeah, uh, to Wallaby Holland for uh, giving us fast lane. It means we can get loads of rides in here today. And uh, yeah, look at this. Absolutely awesome. The ride itself features five inversions. It's got a drop of 80 degrees. And we've got to be brave, as it says up there. And if you look up on the lift hill there as well, it says, love, all in lights. That's quite nice, isn't it? Oh, this all looks amazing. Oh, very different to the old Sherwood Forest themed area. And there we go, you've got the waterfall running down there as well. Tell you what, I wouldn't mind going in there, Charlotte. I know. Yeah, <laughs> jump my head in the waterfall. Uh, there is a single rider queue on Untamed as well. And uh, yeah, I think it looks really impressive. The sign is actually a lot bigger in person than it looks on photos. Yeah, it looks brilliant, doesn't it? Like with the big sign. And it's like been slashed straight through the middle. It looks awesome. But here we go, oh, test seat over there as well. Like I say, we're gonna have our first ride on Untamed and we can take you along. Let's head on the back row and check out this awesome new roller coaster here in the Netherlands. Are you excited, Charlotte? This is it. Join us as we take our seats on Untamed for our first ever ride. Oh, here we go. The lights are flashing. 
flashing, the audio is pumping out, and this is it, our first ever ride on Untamed, and we're on the back, oh! oh my God. <laughs> Bit of a tilt just to get us into action before we go up the lift hill. So I thought we'll start with a back row, and then we're gonna do a front row. Oh my God, this is it. It's great to be sharing this moment with you all. Our anniversary, Charlotte's first RMC, and both of our first ride on Untamed. <laughs> Slow lift hill so you can really build up the suspense. So like some of, some of the RMCs that were done over in America, you don't pull your own lap bar down, they do it for you. Here we go. Fantastic. I tell you what, it's like a mini steel vengeance that with some of the elements, especially there at the end of the ride, going through some of the structure with some great near misses. And the good thing with RMC is you can't fully share your review until you've done it a few times and especially later in the day because they really do take time to warm up. Uh, but that was brilliant, really, really good, especially for an early morning ride. Can't wait to see how fast that's riding at eight o'clock tonight. Brilliant. All the station looks so good as well. All the lighting, the audio. We just took the trip and it certainly didn't disappoint.
then, so you've just seen two different POVs there from our ride on Untamed. We're straight back round at the front row as well that we also was allowed to film. So you saw the back row first and then the front. Let's talk about the overall experience. I mean, Charlotte, your first Yay! time going on an RMC. I mean, you don't really know what to expect going no. on a new ride type. Like in general, like what did you think to the overall, like the train design, the restraints, uh, and obviously the coaster itself? Like, what, what are your thoughts? So the trains are actually much better in person than seeing them on pictures. Mm. Very nice. But I do find the restraints quite restrictive on my legs. Yeah, I've said that with RMCs yeah. myself before. The, the, That's you know, the my old quite restrictive. Issue. They are quite tight. Uh, what about the actual the ride experience? Like oh, overall, the elements. And... I loved it. I thought it was brilliant. The airtime, but obviously because you've got quite tight restraints, the airtime is quite like pushed. But yeah. what a fantastic ride for this park! Yeah, it's an amazing brilliant. investment for Europe. I think it's a brilliant coaster. I think it sits firmly. I'd say in my top twenty roller coasters. Uh, that sits right in there and you've got to think as the day progresses it's just going to get better yeah. it's going to get faster and faster when it gets even hotter later i mean it's hot now but uh, when it gets hotter this afternoon it's going it, to be it's flying, be flying around. around the track um so yeah we did that back row ride that we really felt a lot of the airtime, and it was great going through them five different inversions that 80 degree first drop on the back was incredible yeah. really whipped out of my seat and straight into the little bunny hill at the bottom this is like the European version of Steel Vengeance. And I know you've not done it yet. Yeah. Hoping to get Charlotte out there at some point. Uh, but you know, Steel Vengeance is my number one roller coaster. Uh, and no, this isn't a Steel Vengeance in terms of the speed and the intensity. But for Europe, it's like a, a mini version. And, and I say mini, like, you know, it's still a huge yeah. ride. Like, it's a brilliant ride. It, it's an incredible roller coaster. It's one of my favorite rides in Europe, uh, I would say. It's really up there. I actually preferred the front row on this. I completely agree. Yeah, RMC coasters for me are normally back row rides. With Untamed, it was a front row. And I think that was because of the near misses. I completely agree, front yeah. row ride. I'd much prefer that yeah, one. Yeah, I think it was, especially towards the end of the Seeing layout. The track and yeah, the like amazing. going through the structure. That was my favorite part of the ride. So coming around this section over at the back here, uh, back through the structure, that's my favorite part on Steel Vengeance. And it was mm. the same with Untamed because you really feel like you're just going to hit all the wooden supports. And I must say, you've got that wonderful inversion at the end as well. And that's brilliant as you go into that roll that you've got your arms up and you feel like you can just brush the floor. Yeah. Uh, I'd say the coasters exceeded my expectations. Uh, I was coming in here not really knowing. Bear in mind, I've just come back from the States where I've done a lot of RMC coasters and quite a lot of what I would call smaller RMCs. This I'd class as a mid-range. I'd say in terms of the size, um, you know, you've got the likes of Steel Vengeance, Wildfire, they're your big RMCs. I'd put this uh, just underneath it in terms of the overall size and scale. At the moment, I'd probably say from my two rides I've had on it, especially that front row ride, Ride. It's on par with Wildfire, which is uh, the only other RMC in Europe. That's in Sweden at Kolmarden. Um, you know, I'd say it's on par as the day progresses. Who knows? It might uh, go even higher up in the rankings, especially when it gets a bit faster. I'd say it keeps the pacing really well, though. Yeah, really. Uh, well. I didn't really think there was a point of the ride where it slowed down, and I thought, oh, you know, mm. it, it lost its momentum. Kept going all the way to the brakes and airtime on them two hills before the brakes. But, Fantastic. Yeah, you got a favourite moment? Would you say? Um, or? Like Sean said, I like the end section I like the double up over there yeah the double up yeah we haven't even mentioned that so just at the back Charlotte getting technical, getting yeah. technical. Uh, yeah the double up at the back the you've seen it in the POV especially on the front um, where you go up once and then up again uh, brilliant but now, overall what a brilliant ride I think the area looks fantastic there's a reason that have brought us down here because look at this uh, da -da -da. Uh, we are one of the old trains there from Robin Hood and uh, yeah, some of the track here as well. I mean, so cool. this is great how they've put it all here so it's on display. Like you've got all these different signs in the queue and all this down here. It's incredible. Um, you know, what an absolutely awesome ride. It is only running one train at the moment. That might change later if it gets busier, but you know, is there any need really to <laughs> look at her go? Oh, Charlotte. Is there any need at the moment to have it on two trains? Probably not. It's probably got about a 15 minute queue. It's only just down the steps. Uh, I'm sure if it does get busier, they'll put it on two. Um, but you know, uh, yeah, it's a, a, a brilliant ride. The overall package as well. That's what I like with this. It's not just the coaster. This whole wilderness area is great. And like I say, we've, we've got the fast lane that the park's given us, which is really kind. Just thought we'd uh, come down this way just to get a few more shots of it. Um, but yeah, absolutely incredible. Really, really nice, isn't it? Anyway, that's not the only nice thing what this park has done for us today. Um, just, they've actually took us for a little walk all the way around the back of this coaster in an area what you're not normally allowed in. So uh, they've just took us around there where I've got some awesome shots. 
of the ride in action. Oh, untamed. Wow, look at how the structure shakes. What an awesome ride. It's definitely exceeded expectations. That's the double up. Yeah, the best part of the ride for me, it starts here, the best part. I think it goes all the way around the back and then up into the brakes. I mean, you watch this airtime in a moment, just coming up here into the brakes. Uh, but yeah, like I say, in just a couple of moments, I'm going to put in some of the footage that we've just captured uh, from around the back. And they actually took a lovely photo of us standing there as well, which is really kind. Look at that. Boy, you are whipped up into the brakes. What an incredible coaster. Untamed. Theme Bar World Wise review, it's not disappointed. Brilliant ride, look forward to getting on it again later. Uh, but here we go, here's some footage that we've just got from around the back of the ride. A little bit of an exclusive for you, here you go. Spectacular footage, isn't it, round there? Again, a big thank you to the park for everything they've done for us today, allowing us to film on the rides, and of course, taking us round the back there, and the fast track, honestly, really, really kind of them. We didn't expect all of that, so honestly, a big thanks to the park. Um, but yeah, we just spoke a little bit about wilderness before we uh, went on Untamed. Thought we'd have a little walk around the area. I mean, it does split off into two sections, so we'll walk down this way first. Uh, down towards Goliath, our next ride, and also show you a little bit the other way later because they've completely uh, rethemed their Hus Top Spin as well. Um, yeah, look at this, some nice seating areas. That's quite different, isn't it? Like you can sit in there and a little bit of shade. That's what we need today. Hey, theme by Worldwide on YouTube, check it out. And look at this, you've got a little car up there. You're gonna get in it and have a little drive, Charlotte? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, in terms of a bit of a wasp update for you all, have you got a wasp update right, for the viewers? I'm gonna give you a wasp update. Wasp update, moderate. Not so many. <laughs> moderate. Yeah. When we were here last time, they were like all around oh the floor. Oh my God, that's why I legs. named it Wallaby Wasp. Oh, Wallaby. <laughs> Wallaby Wasp today. That is good today. Well, this is great. I'm not going to lie, when I first saw pictures of all of this, I was unsure. I didn't know if I was going to really like this theme or not, what they've gone for with Untamed. Um, but I really do like it. Now I've seen it in person. I think it's a grower, to be honest this wilderness area uh, but yeah this is like one entrance to it and like I say it all continues around that side so we'll get some more footage of that um, later on when we go around there and of course I'll be having a ride on the top spin it looks like it's soaking people today uh, but yeah another solid ride here is Goliath we like this don't we the Intamin mega coaster you only had one go on it I think haven't you yeah last time so we'll uh, take you guys on there get on the front row and they give you a bit of an on-ride pov from goliath such an iconic ride it used to have purple supports and green track then they painted the supports black and kept the green track and then uh, yeah they painted all the track blue and uh, yeah the supports black so there you go it's had a few <laughs> different color schemes but i'll always remember that iconic green but i do think it looks a lot better now in blue so there we go let's go and have a ride on goliath
just seen on ride footage there from Goliath. Really enjoyed that intimate mega coaster that opened back in 2002. Fantastic ride, what do you think? Yeah, it's so good, but it's a lot more intense than I remembered it, but it's such mm. a great ride. Yeah, brilliant views from on there as great well. And yeah, some brilliant airtime. Really like all them different moments. First drop's really good as well. Tell you what, they've got some brilliant rides for airtime here, haven't they? With Untamed now as well. Then that, and also Lost Gravity that we're going over to shortly. Uh, that's got quite a bit of airtime on some oh, of the I elements. Lost Gravity. And um, we'll head over there. But um, yeah, it was really good that ride on Goliath. Like how it swoops down next to all the water as well. Very iconic ride that. I said this last time, but this is one of the Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 parks. Uh, it used to be known as Six Flags Holland. And you've also got Six Flags Belgium as well. That used to be in it. Obviously, both the parks are now owned by Wallaby. Uh, but they used to actually be Six Flags Parks. Fun fact for you, for if you didn't know. Uh, yeah, that was great. The Stengel dive on there is really good as well. Really nice elements. And uh, some brilliant airtime. But there's a few coasters what Charlotte actually missed last time. Well, there's a couple of rides, obviously. You're going to get three creds today because you got Untamed. You got two more. You haven't done Speed of Sound, which is the Vekoma Boomerang. So we'll get you on that later. And most importantly, come this way because there's a certain ride at this part that I didn't go on last time I was here, but I have got the cred. I've only had one ride on it. And it is this wonderful, everyone's favorite, Pink Flamingo. Oh no, it's the SLC just behind it. Here we are called Condor. This ride is terrible. In fact, it's right up there as one of the worst roller coasters I've ever been on. So Charlotte didn't actually get the credit last time, did you? Do I have? To do it well no you don't have to do anything but if you want to get the credit if you want to feel the I pain i need to see i need to experience this ride she needs so to I'm get the pain feel <laughs> the pain <laughs> i must say that i do like all these pink flamingos worth pointing out they do a summer event here it was open to 11 last night like i say we decided to go to toverland because we looked at both and thought there was a bit more going on there for us being out of the country you know we've come over here on a trip if you lived here you'd come and see all of these wouldn't you on the late nights but um yeah it's very very quiet here today um, so yeah, it means we're going to get straight on Condor. Yeah. So here we go. We'll take you along for the ride. Uh, we'll sit at the front row so you don't get as much of a, uh, oh, of a head bang. But uh, here we go. It's coming round. How's it, how do you feel looking at it? Sick. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's your standard layout SLC. No bonus helix or anything. It's literally very standard. However, it looks quite nice off-ride, to be fair. But honestly, this ride is absolutely terrible. Let's go on. Condor here at Wallaby Holland. Come on, Charlotte. Lead the way. My God, that was absolutely terrible. Genuinely one of the worst roller coaster experiences 
I've ever had. It was bad when I first went on it a few years ago, but blimey, that was terrible. Bear in mind, the GoPro was all on strapped up. They even put some tape on to make sure that it was going to be fine. Uh, you know, that's part of the protocol here to make sure it's extra secure. And it was still shaking about like mad. Absolutely crazy. And I think poor Charlotte over here, there were no her reactions. She's on the floor. Uh, but yeah, look at the sign just behind me. They do a cotton candy challenge. That's part of the summer event. And uh, yeah, they actually give out cotton candy and then you take it on the ride and see if you can still eat it whilst you're going round. On Goliath, they blindfold you as well. Uh, it's all part of the summer event, what they do. So, to be honest, didn't realise how much of a summer event they were doing. We'll have to check it out in the future. I mean, it's not on today, like I say. It's on them 11 o'clock closes they're doing it. But how cool is that? They're actually letting you take food onto the ride and try and eat it. Like, that is incredible. I suppose if a bit of candy floss comes flying off, though, it's not the end of the world, is it? It's not really going to hurt anyone, especially if it lands in your mouth. But here it comes round into the brake run, the wonderful condor. But where, where's Charlotte? Da -da -da -da. How are we down there? Oh, that was awful. You didn't enjoy that? No. Oh, poor Charlotte. What didn't you like about it? It was so rough. It is rough, isn't it? Yeah. I did warn you about it. Very it well padded. Yeah. It needs it. It's got a lot of padding. I was just saying in the GoPro footage, like when we come in at the end, you can even see it like slide to the side. But rough. Ooh, it's getting warmer now, isn't it? Melting. But we've got our bottles of water, cleanest water apparently in Europe. So there we go. We're having our uh, our tap water, which is perfectly fine to drink here, which is good. Um, but yeah, here we go. Another coaster done. Three coaster rides down. Should we go and give Lost Gravity a ride next? Or should we do these, we do these Mexican acts actually yeah. whilst we're here? So Charlotte's got a bit of a memory, haven't you, from these Mexican hats? So basically, when I used to go to Drayton Manor as a kid, they had the Mexican hats and I used to love them. And you've not been on one since other than Port Ventura. They're not Mexican. It's not, yeah, it's got a different theme, hasn't it? So we'll do these Mexican hats. Uh, like I said, I can't take you on board. We're only in sort of, we've been given permission to take you on the main roller coaster, haven't we, today, which is good using the GoPro. Um, and obviously, it has to be checked off by management every time we've used it. So, um, you know, unfortunately, I can't take you on some of these other smaller rides, but you get the gist. It's a very standard flat ride. I'll put a bit of off ride footage in, and then we'll head over to Lost Gravity and we'll take you on there for another coaster ride. Yeah, it's great what the park have done for us today. We really, really appreciate it. I just hope more people come down here and check out Untamed. I mean, it's a shame to see the park quiet, summer holidays, and they've just opened this new ride like less than a month ago, and it's quiet. It's way too hot for people. Yeah. I mean, it's too hot for theme parks it's like not this. The park's full. It's just the fact that it's so hot. Yeah, very, very humid as well. I mean, it's getting you prepared for Florida. I'd say it's actually more humid than Florida. What we've had the past two days. So you're all prepared anyway now, Charlotte. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, what's that? Oh, lovely. Oh, God, he's looking tense. <laughs> oh, yeah. Let's get have a ride on here. Put a bit of off-ride footage in. Bit of a different style one. This. Look at this. There we go. Yeah, this is a bit of a different ride actually to the one at uh, Port Ventura. There we go. Let's go and have a ride. Walk on. summer everybody so we've just come off the mexican hat ride and this guy's got his hose pipe out look at this yeah <laughs> love it they're all climbing on like oh, oh, oh. climbing in these big tubs oh oh my god ah! what's going on there charlotte waiting to be squirted and they've got a bit of foam as well we've got a bit of a foam party going on here we go viewers you want a bit of foam here you go <laughs> all right charlotte and this kid is just fed up to me with a plastic cup and shit on me. Really? Yes. Oh, you are in a soap zone though. There we are. You've been warned. Do you want some bubbles? Do you want some bubbles, Charlotte? Bubbles. Love it. Oh, oh, oh my God, he's coming. Oh, I don't want... oh, he's coming back. I don't want him wet me. Wet her instead.
Right then, so we've just done the crazy river log flume. Oh, really nice flume ride that is. It's got a backwards drop on there as well. Quite a large backwards section, actually. Um, it spins you round and then you do the drop. Then just carries on for ages. Then you go up that second lift hill before it turns round again and makes your way down towards the big finale double drop. Uh, but here we go. Yesterday, Charlotte had two of these. And here we are. She's having another one today. Look at this. Charlotte. Another ice cream. But here we are. I'll let you off. Oh, it's very blue. Look at that. Because it's our anniversary. Here we are having your ice cream. So these here are more expensive than Toverland, but they're a bit bigger. And you get five toppings. So welcome to Sean and Charlotte's food review. We've decided we're gonna have a lot of Charlotte's food review in Florida, aren't we? Charlotte's gonna uh, try some different foods and, and share a review, but here we go. So we've got for these walls swirls just here, not a Shambhala swirl, that's what they are at Port Aventura. She's loving that. And uh, yeah, you get five toppings and it's a bit bigger than the one at Toverland as well. And so probably works out similar pricing for what you're actually getting, but how is it Charlotte? Oh, it's beautiful. Lovely, isn't it? So what they do, Put the ice cream in the cup and then you pick your five toppings then they put it in a machine a bit like a mcflurry machine and then they flurry it all round and yeah absolutely delicious i've got loads of strawberries in there fudge bits and yeah really really nice and uh yeah i'm gonna give that 10 out of 10 to be honest absolutely brilliant those sevens here that is some good quality food and uh yeah what a really nice dessert we need it and uh yeah we did crazy river just and like i say up next we're gonna go on a lost gravity after we've had this and maybe another one and another one and another one. Oh, that was a lovely swirl that was. Honestly, they are gorgeous and we can't get them back home. We definitely not seen them anyway. Whoa, massive fuego. Love a bit of fire, don't we? And here we are over at Lost Gravity. The original, the prototype, Mack Rides Big Dipper, domed here in 2016. We actually came here opening year, rode it when it was just a few months old. Fantastic ride this, really nice theme to it as well. And there she is going up the lift hill. Nice quick lift along this. And there's only two of these in existence. In fact, the second one actually opened this year at a park in Germany. I'd like to go and check it out. It's not near any like other parks that I've done before. So I'd like to go down there and do a trip. Uh, but yeah, it was a little bit further away from the likes of Europa Park and the other parts that I went to on my previous Europe trip. I also would have gone there to ride it. Uh, but yeah, Lost Gravity is incredible. And yeah, what a ride. And I think we're just gonna go up the main queue because it's got all the theme in. Are you all right, Charlotte? <laughs> Bacon, isn't it? It's hotter today, isn't it, than yesterday. We're feeling it more because there's not as much, uh, oh, the water effect. There's not as many indoor areas or indoor rides, is there? But you like this though, don't you? You love a bit of lost gravity. So here we go, two inversions on this as well. And yeah, look at all the theming. I mean, you got some good stuff if you go down the uh, fast lane queue there, because you go through a bus that you uh, walk through, but this main queue is even better. You've got like old escalators and all sorts around. Yeah, great themed ride. That's the station. It's walk on anyway. I think it's just too hot for people to ride coasters today. A lot of people aren't riding. But yeah, this is an awesome attraction. Like, there's little things like all the lights that are going there on the bus. Obviously, you've got the radar that's spinning on the top. All these shipping containers. It's like gravity's just pulling it all away. All the doors up there, all these wires coming out from the side. But yeah, it's a bit too hot really for going to theme parks when it's like this. But obviously when you've traveled abroad and already got your trip planned, then you've just got to go ahead with it, you know. Um, but yeah, we like it's mean the queues are quite short and, and you know, we're having a great day so far. Definitely the best day I've ever had at this park. Third time coming here and I'm really enjoying it today. I'll show you a little bit more when we get around here with the theming. Here we are, round to the escalators. <laughs> Little things like this, like it goes a long way, doesn't it? Very heavily themed. Look at all the seats up there as well on the bottom of them containers. Love it. There's Tomahawk over there, Frisbee ride. Have a go on there at some point. Whoa, here's the jazzy part of the queue line. All the mirrors and LED lights. Whee! Love it, right? Let's go and have a ride. And we'll see you on the front row with a bit of on ride footage. Let's go. Lost Gravity here at Wallaby Holland.
enjoy this ride. How was it, Charlotte? Oh. We got a water effect, we got soaked. Yeah, we had a bit of a blast of water, didn't we, on the back row. So we did a front row, you saw from the POV, and then a back row where we got a bit of a splash from an effect just over the side here. Brilliant coaster that. Yeah. Not really at its best today in terms of the rattle, but that's because of the heat, that is. I mean, yeah. uh, these coasters, when it does get this hot, we're going to be grateful that they're operating, to be honest, in 40 degree heat and it's still going round, you know, so fair play is the part for keeping these rides going. There's only a couple of smaller things closed. It's both of the drop towers, actually, the kids, yeah. little frog hopper, and also the s, &S shot tower. They're closed because of the heat. I assume that's because of all the cylinders and stuff. Um, but yeah, you know, that was brilliant. Fair play to the park today and yesterday for keeping these rides going in incredible temperatures. Uh, but yeah, that was really good fun. I do prefer it on the front row there, but it's quite an intense ride. That first drop is incredible, especially if you're on the left seat, you really get whipped up into it. Uh, and then the other elements of the ride, I really like some of the simple parts of this. It's not really about the inversions for me. It's just some of these corners, like at the top here, um, where you just go round and just on a little bit of a bank out to the side. Just some of the weirder stuff on this ride. Whole thing's a bit messed up. And that's what I really like about it and the overall theme of it. Lots of near miss elements and uh, yeah, it just looks great off ride, doesn't it? Really good coaster. Tell you what though, they've got three really solid rides here, haven't they? Like, and how good some of the airtime on there as well. You yeah. come down that drop, doing a little dance, are you? Yeah. Uh, you come down that drop on there. Um, at the start, and then you go straight into that airtime hill. It's incredible, isn't it? I do prefer it on the outer seat. Mm, yeah, on the, on the wing, so yeah, to speak. I prefer the outer seat, but it's a great ride, that is. I love it. Yeah, it's basically like the Mac version of uh, a wing rider, isn't it, really, if you sit on the outside. Yeah, really good fun. Glad we went on it. Um, the sweat is dripping off me. Uh, but we've got a little junior coaster around this corner uh, called Draco, so we're going to go on there. Uh, a little Zero Tivoli, that is. Uh, and along with that as well, I'll probably have a ride on Tomahawk. And there's a splash battle that I've never been on before, so I'll probably have a go on there today. Just there for the, is some sort yeah. of VR attraction as mm. well. We'll have a little look at that. It's down yeah. this way. Uh, I think it's like, is it like hospital theme normally at Halloween, but I don't know if it's still at this time of year or not, but I think that's one of the attractions for Halloween. Uh, I think the next time I'm at this park will be for a Halloween visit. Heard a lot of good things. We're not going to be able to get it in this year. We've got too much going on already. Um, but maybe next year, we'll look yeah. at coming doing Halloween. I'd like to, and do see the park at night. Wow, great fire effects and the water over there. Brilliant. And of course, it's still got all the great theming around it. Awesome ride, Lost Gravity here at Wallaby Holland. Just had a ride then on Draco, the little junior coaster just there. You alright Charlotte? No. Yeah. <laughs> Bless you. It is so hot, isn't it, today? Roasting. It is roasting, but... A roast chicken. A roast chicken. The key is you just got to keep drinking and, you know, keep drinking the fluids. That's what we got to do. But uh, there you go. So there's the attraction just over there. You can see it says the clinic at the top. I believe that's the name. Uh, of it at Halloween, but yeah, it's Neurogen and it's some sort of VR experience. And uh, yeah, we just went over there, and uh, it seems like they're only letting people in one at a time every 10 to 15 minutes. So even though there's only about what 10 or 12 people there now, it's quite a big queue. So I'm gonna give it a miss for now, might come back later. Um, a few people did comment on the vlog last time saying you should do it because we love our horror stuff, don't we? Um, but yeah, I'd like to do it. I think it's free, um, but then you can pay for a fast track if you want to for it. Um, it's not included on the uh, express pass that we've been given today. Yeah, we've got Tomahawk over here as well. So I think whilst we're here, may as well have a ride on this. I think down here you've got the Wallaby Play area, uh, Wallaby Playland it's called, and then down there you've got some play equipment and of course, and the Splash Battle as well. Yeah, we're gonna have a little ride on uh, Tomahawk whilst I'm down here. Little Frisbee ride, quite a good one this from what I remember.
great cycle there on Tomahawk. You know me, I love a good frisbee and I enjoy my different flat rides. And uh, yeah, that was awesome. About a four minute cycle that was. Here we go, look, this is what you want on a day like today. You're going under Charlotte? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. You're going all the way in? Yeah. Oh. yeah. <laughs> Love it. Oh, there we are. We yeah, have the splash battle, it's just around this corner. Yeah, you got a few different kids' rides around here, a couple of different smaller flat rides. Got like a spinning bus there. It goes around, it's a bit like a Miami wave, isn't it, but for kids. Got this little train ride here. Yeah, a few smaller bits in this little area all around the back of where Lost Gravity is, and it's quite hidden actually, to be honest. And you follow this down, it takes you down to speed of sound. Got a POV of that coming up for you later. There we are. Oh, you're enjoying that. <laughs> you can splash me with it in a minute and turn this camera off. Oh, right, give me some more of that. Oh, that's lovely. On the face of it. Oh. Oh, <laughs> thank you. Right, I'm going to head around and go on this splash battle. Are you going to come on or not? You might do, yeah. I didn't know if you were going to come on with it being a splash battle, but. Yeah, I mean, it's a nice day though, isn't it? If you're baking art, like, it's what we want, isn't it? Yeah, it's just around this corner. So we've just come off the splash battle that's actually called Splash Battle and we got absolutely sewed. Like all these guys are squirting us. There we are, off we go. See you later. Everyone was just, that was amazing, wasn't it? That was hilarious. We broke and down. The best thing was we stopped on there and everybody just kept squirting us. So we're dripping wet through. I tell you what, we won't be complaining about the heat now. Look at us, we're dripping. <laughs> that was good fun though, wasn't it? Yeah. But there was a bit of a surprise on there that we didn't know about. There was a waterfall that didn't go up. <laughs> Yeah, inside here, where all these rocks are, there was a waterfall on there and it just kept on going. How do you feel now? Are you nice and cool? No, I'm soggy! Yeah. <laughs> that was great. No, I enjoyed that. Same sort of model there as the one that's at Flamingo Land actually back in the UK. And uh, yeah, I enjoy a splash battle when it's weather like this. Not normally the weather to go on them, isn't it? And I've never done that, so I'm glad we've done it. But yeah, look at this, we're absolutely <laughs> dripping wet through. Clothes are sticking to us. That's what we wanted though, that's what you go on a splash battle for, isn't it? Uh, yeah. You're like an ice cube. Uh, yeah. <laughs> hey, I'll tell you what though, it's cooled us down. I enjoyed it. Time for a bit of a spin dry now. I'm gonna go on this uh, little magic over here. I like these, I don't think I've been on this one here before either. Because it's open until eight today. Got plenty of time to do uh, loads of different rides. Look at uh, yeah. <laughs> so I'm gonna have a little go on here and uh, put in a bit of footage for you. And then we'll head on to speed of sound. A brilliant Vacoma boomerang, probably the best one out there because it's got lighting, audio, the full package. And we'll take you on there for the ride. Wonderful ride there on Spinning Vibe. Oh, a good cycle on there as well. Some good flats in this park. That was fantastic, very much enjoyed it. All the lighting on there, I bet that looks good at night, all the park hands around. And also, a good bit of music on there as well. Whilst I was on there, Charlotte has gone and got herself, what do you call that, a potato like a, stick or something? Yeah, I've always wanted to try one, and they're amazing. So, are they, do they warm them up, do they? They put them in the fryer. Put them in the fryer and then put them on a stick. So obviously this stick was full. Has it lived up to your expectations? Really nice. There we go, I enjoyed that. But uh, anyway, up next, we're going to bring you some on-ride footage from Speed of Sound, that awesome Bacoma boomerang that I've been talking about. So we'll head on there, get on the front row, so you can see the full experience. And uh, yeah, come along for the ride here at Wallaby Holland. Right, no need to even use the fast lane then on this one. It's absolutely walk-on. Like, it's empty in the station, nobody waiting in the air gates at all from what I can see. So yeah, let's get a ride on here. Charlotte's first time coming on this one. New credit for her. Like I say, she's got three credits today, which is good. 
But here we go. Let's go for a ride on speed of sound. Quite an intense one, this. Love it. me I love a good Vacoma boomerang and that's certainly the best one out there in terms of all the effects on there it really benefits from that onboard audio doesn't it yes yeah it's fantastic I mean I know it's the same old standard Vacoma boomerang however it has got the new trains on there with the vest harnesses and I don't think you've done one of those have you no, with the that's vest the first one I've done with the vest harness it's probably the best one I've done the mm. audio really makes it and like the lights in the tunnel really makes it but these sort of rides for me, I find them a little bit too yeah. intense. Especially when they go backwards. Yeah, like, they are still, intense rides. Definitely the best one I've been on. Like I said, when we was walking up the queue just. Oh, you hit me! We were walking Sorry. up the queue just. Sorry, come on. Sorry. Uh, yeah. We were walking up the queue line just, and I was saying it's an intense ride, and they certainly are. This one feels like it's running even faster than normal today. Again, probably due to the temperature. A lot of these rides, like when it's really hot, the track light expands and obviously the wheels are running around all the day on it, um, you know, which makes them even more intense, doesn't it? What's that? Not wasp activity, so, is it? I can hear a lot of crickets. Crickets, yeah, a crickets. lot of different animals in the bushes They're around going... here. Yeah. <laughs> On the front row POV there, you don't really get to appreciate the, the full tunnel, what there is up the top there actually. Move along here so you can see it a bit. Uh, but yeah, the whole top section up here is built into a tunnel with all the LEDs. And uh, yeah, there it is up there, it's got the black dots on it. There you go, but yeah, brilliant ride. And obviously it's got speakers in there as well. So it's booming really, really loud. I don't know how well it picked up yet on the GoPro, because uh, obviously I've not seen it back. But yeah, overall, like really nice package ride. I just can't believe how quiet it is. I was not expecting this today. I know it's hot and like an unbearable heat for people, but I don't know, I still thought people would come out of it. It just goes to show though, doesn't it? These record temperatures in the Netherlands. It's not really a hot country, is it? People aren't used to it here. Much like we're not back home, to be honest. But you know, I can guarantee in this weather at Alton Towers, because it's nice and warm back home as well, whilst uh, you know, like Europe's having this heat wave and I think Paris is like the hottest at about 42. I can guarantee Alton Towers will still be quite busy in this but people over here I assume they just like to go to like a boating lake maybe do a bit of fishing or something um, you know have a bit of relax instead of going on theme park rides which I don't blame them to be honest uh, but anyway yeah let's carry on do some more rides here at Wallaby. Right so I'm not too sure if he's talking or not today but here we go we got this interactive fountain package over here playing a bit of music Normally, you have someone who's doing a bit of talking and uh, yeah, it makes it interactive. I'm not too sure if it's on some sort of random setting with the music. I mean, when we've walked up to it before, it's not normally had the music on, I don't think, but there you go, it's cool, isn't it? Should we say hello and say, hello from England? Anybody there? Hello, whoa! I don't know, is this someone doing it, do you think? Or is it on a preset, what do you think? I'm not too sure, but we've seen it before in the vlogs. Anybody there? Normally if you say hello, you get a bit of a reaction, but nothing today. Hello? No, oh, I don't know. It feels like he was trying to get me then. 
maybe we'll see later on. Even so, whoa, look at that. Even so, it's a wonderful fountain package, isn't it? Look at that. Very much inspired by, there's a fountain in Islands of Adventure at Universal uh, that Charlotte's gonna get to see. Yeah, uh, but yeah, we'll definitely check that out. But I don't know if there's anybody there or not today. Normally you can speak to it and get a bit of interaction. Let's try one more time. Hello, anyone? Anybody gonna speak to, oh, oh, here we go. Hello. Uh, how are you? Are you good? Yeah, oh, he we normally speaks English to us. Yeah, English, yeah, that's it. English. Uh, am I on television now? Yeah, you're, you're on YouTube, on uh, on Theme Park Worldwide. Wow, live on YouTube. Yeah, oh, you're not live, but... You... Live. Yeah, hello, there we are. <laughs> I, I, I really like your fountains, they are great. Oh, thank you. Yeah, very good. Could, could you give us like a big display again? Could you show us them all? Of course I can. Thank you. There we go. Oh, here we go. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa! Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> See, it's these little things like this that I absolutely love. Yeah. <laughs> it's great, and obviously, I'm going to spoil the magic for you now. There's someone sat in a room somewhere around here who's actually controlling this, and there's actually a little camera just at the top there. I'll show you the little camera. There we go, just up at the top. There we go. <laughs> Fantastic. Thank you. Bye. Bye, bye-bye. Bye. bye, -bye. bye. Oh, I love that. It's cool, isn't it, stuff like that? Really makes it, and the fact they employ someone to do that all day. What a guy, and he speaks English as well. Right then, next up it's time to ride Express Platform 13, Vekoma Looping Roller Coaster with that launch at the start as well. It's actually the same layout as Rock and Roller Coaster at Disneyland Paris, fun little fact for you. And this has got an absolutely incredible queue line that we love. So obviously you've got all this section around here, which is where we waited last time actually. It's all based around like a subway station. and It's got some really good effects to make our way further around the queue. Oh my God, look at this. <laughs> there we are, little look, Glenbrook Station. Here we are, so we'll go around this way, get some more shots, because this bit's really nice, even though it's a big cattle pen, at least it's heavily themed and it's quite cool in here as well. We'll go around this corner, and there's even more fantastic theming. So as you can see, all the wall has come away just here, and there's a screen just behind it. What a fantastic effect that is. I mean, you know me, I'm not a big fan of attractions that use screens a lot. However, this is done really well because the corridor is very heavily themed. It's like all the walls come away, and then you've got the subway trains coming past. Really good effect, and obviously you've got the lights that are flickering and swinging on the screen. All these ones are all fit with the effects as well. Brilliant, and then you carry on around this way into the dark. Of course, you get all of this build up, and then it's basically an outdoor version of Rock and Roll the coaster. It's a shame the whole coaster isn't indoors. That would have really made it. It's a good little scare over here. It doesn't seem to be going off. I think it's on some sort of sensor. So let's wait about here and we should get it. What an awesome jump scare, isn't it? And especially if you're really not expecting it. First time I came on, I was like, oh my God. Yeah, it's brilliant around here. Follow this round to the station. Here we go, we'll get on the front row. Showing on ride POV for you with this one. Express Platform 13.
Just had not one, but two laps round there on Express Platform 13. Q-Line's awesome on that ride, isn't it? Honestly, the Q-Line is absolutely amazing. It's like a scare zone. It is, like you're walking through all these different effects and that so train's brilliant. And then you get onto the ride itself, which is good fun. It's not the smoothest ride out there. Uh, and it would be so much better if the whole thing was indoors, yeah, wouldn't it? It's a bit confusing, really, because the queue line's all inside. We've said this before. Yeah. And then you just shoot out into, like, outside. It needs a cover on it, really. Yeah. It's an indoor coaster. But still, it's really smooth. It's an enjoyable ride. Yeah, it's an LSM launch on there. It's got quite a kick to it. It's not got any onboard audio or anything on there. Um, but, yeah, it's great. I mean, you'd think maybe they would have put onboard audio on it, really, because that would have added to it. Uh, but, oh, she's been distracted by food again. What what you got over here? Cakes. cakes. Oh, big cakes. <laughs> Love it. She gets distracted easily, don't you? Uh, but they're really good ride. Three inversions on there. Good kick to it on the launch. Yeah, just overall, an enjoyable coaster. Today is the best visit I've ever had to Wallaby Holland. And I've only been, well, it's my third visit. Uh, but no, really enjoying it here today. It's just a shame to see it quiet, isn't it? Um, yeah, especially with the big new ride open. I do think it is just because of the weather yeah. um, that's putting people off. Um, I'm sure, you know, I hope they have a really busy summer because uh, the looked after us here today, really, uh, really kind of them. We wasn't expecting it at all. Like, so we booked our ticket and uh, we were like, we'd like to film on the coasters. And then uh, they just said to us this morning at guest services, oh, we've got your fast track. So, yeah, say, yeah, really good. Well. And it seems like all the other guests we've seen are having a good day and enjoying themselves. Phone party's packed up now, but there's still a couple of hours to go here at Wallaby Holland. Uh, a couple of rides seem to have closed now because of the weather, though. Uh, it looks like Condor's closed, but we're not complaining oh, about that. Uh, along with that, the train's off. I was hoping to go on there. Uh, and obviously, yeah, they've got them couple of rides that have been shut all day. So a few bits short. Completely understandable, though, in weather like this, isn't it? Uh, I thought maybe we might struggle with Untamed, to be honest. But we managed to get on it. And here we go. <laughs> I uh, make no promises. We love this song, don't we? Right, let's go have another walk through wilderness. We're going to have another ride on Untamed, and I'll put some off ride shots in for you this time. Here we are then back in the station for Untamed. I thought I'm going to have to show you this. It's absolutely walk on. Walk straight into the air gates, and we just walked into the front row queue. Just got to wait one train. And we're on. Crazy, isn't it? It's got to be the weather that's just putting people off. I bet the park are a bit gutted, though. I bet they're hoping that over the next few weeks it's going to cool down a bit so people come here and experience this cracking coaster. Let's go and take the trip again on Untamed. Untamed is the coaster that just keeps on giving and getting better and better. Wow, I've just had a proper session on there. Charlotte's been on another couple of times, so we'll go over to her in just a second. She's chilling out in some hammocks under some trees. Uh, but yeah, what can I say about that coaster? I've now had a total of 10 rides on Untamed. You saw how dead it was up there. They're just letting you sit back in the seat. And I thought it'd be too rude of me not to just make the most of that opportunity. I mean, amazing operations. The staff are great up there. It's a shame to see it quiet, but I'm more than happy getting lots and lots of re-rides on it. I came here expecting one ride this morning and then another ride this evening, not to keep going on it this much. Brilliant, and there's still time for another couple more. After doing another couple of rides, I'm gonna come back and do another couple on it. Uh, that coaster has just got so much faster than earlier on. It is a world-class roller coaster, and it's so good to see that this ride, uh, you know, it's not been overhyped, because a lot of people have been on it already over the past few weeks. They've been here. A lot of people have said it's the number one coaster, top coaster, top five. Uh, I can see exactly why. That coaster really is something special. I love it to bits. The more I've kept going on it, the more I've enjoyed it. The layout, they really couldn't have got any more out of that layout. It is stunning. It really is the whole like owl shape that it's got. And when you go up the lift hill, you look out to the left and you get that incredible view. Recommend if you go on there for the first time, get on the left hand side. Um, so it means you get that really, really nice view as you're heading up the lift hill, looking over the layout. 
the airtime on there now is on par with Steel Vengeance, uh, meaning that it's sitting now in my top five out of over 1,000 roller coasters that I've been on. It is incredible. Don't get me wrong, the restraints on there are a little painful, uh, but that isn't this ride in particular, that's just RMCs. Um, you know, Steel Vengeance is the same, other uh, RMCs are all the same. You know, some of the slower ones that we did on the America trip um, weren't quite uh, as bad in terms of the restraints. Uh, we had these bigger ones, um, you know, then yeah, you are gonna get a bit of discomfort. Uh, but yeah, here comes another train out of the station. Oh, what a beautiful ride. The fact you've got this little twist to the side as well before heading up. Uh, some of the elements on there, it's just running like a dream, like look at it, absolutely fantastic. It's going that fast though, they've actually had to take four seats out of service for now just because it's over speeded. It's coming into the brakes ridiculously fast. In the last couple of hills, you are whacked up into the restraint. Which, don't get me wrong, it's not very comfortable, but the airtime, you know me, I love my airtime. I love my inversions and going through the track uh, and getting some really good near misses. That ride is perfect. It's absolutely stunning. And it's sitting there uh, above wildfire now after it's been riding just absolutely brilliant. I just love RMC to work more on their train design. Uh, I really feel like the coasters themselves, brilliant layout. However, they could really develop more in terms of the, the actual train design, in my opinion. Uh, but here we go, Charlotte's been chilling whilst I've just done like another five rides. Here she is. Are you all right down there? Yeah. Having a little relax. So you went on again another, what, twice you came on? Or three times, I can't remember. Three I'm going to give you a little rock in this summit just here. It's not my own. There we go. Oh, be careful. So you just had another few rides on it then. And uh, what do you think after? Has it warmed up for you? Or? I don't like it. No, it's so restraints. The coaster itself is amazing. Like, I can't fault the coaster, but the restraints are so painful. Yeah, and let's have a little look at the... Uh, the bruises, what have been caused. So there we go. I've already bruised. That's from the restraint just there. Like, it's crazy, isn't it? It's, what, what the problem is, it's not really the lap bar, is it, that's the problem? Yeah. It's the what? It's the leg and restraints. I had a, mal, a malfunction, a top malfunction while I was on there. Yeah, oh no, so what happened? Like, it's uh, Charlotte's top decided to So my top, top decided to lift up. That's how much air time you get. Luckily it wasn't yeah. at the photo point, but. There if you it go. had been at the photo point, it would have been very bad. I can completely understand though why you find it painful. Like the bruises prove it, we're not just saying it. I mean, you'll, you'll, you know, from our reviews of Steel Vengeance and stuff, what we've done before, you'll know that they're not the most comfortable of rides. And if you find that uncomfortable, Steel Vengeance is even more, because it's that on a bigger scale, really. Um, crazy. But if you really want to go out there to see the point, people, and you know, don't have the money to go over there all the time, uh, then you want to come here rocking it like a baby. And uh, then come here to Wallaby Holland in the Netherlands. We're like less than a four hour drive away from Calais. Um, so it's so easy to get here from the UK. Come and ride this coaster because it's the closest thing you're going to get to Steel Vengeance without actually going on Steel Vengeance. Untamed is absolutely brilliant. I love it to bits. Yeah, it's not the most comfortable ride, but it's intense. It's got five fantastic inversions. And the last part of the ride is incredible. Uh, going through the structure and, uh, and into that final inversion. Absolutely stunning. Uh, but anyway, you know, it's like half past six. It's like an hour and a half left to go. Um, and yeah, I'm going to go on this whole stop spin now and get absolutely oh, soaked. No. So I don't think you're coming on, are you? Charlotte is going to stay off ride and get some footage of me in action. What? I'm staying on this, in the uh, Oh, no, you got to come get some footage yeah, on me. I'm coming to get the footage. Getting soaked. And then, of course, I'll have to come back and have a little uh, spin dry again on Untamed and have another go. But it's been a hot one today. But I must say, I feel like Wallaby Holland, you know, have really come a long way in terms of this area. It looks great round here. It's not for everyone, this themed area. I didn't know if it was for me before coming because the whole wilderness theme is very different. I mean, when I was down there in the, in the extended queue line for the ride, they've got like more of the track that's sticking out of the ground. And it's just very weird, isn't it? Like you've got the trees painted up um, sort of over there. And um, you've got like some of the mirrors and things. You know, it's very, very different style to what you'd normally see. I mean, look at this over here. Um, just like random bits of stuff there, you know, but I like it. It's very different and I can't say there's a themed area or a coaster with this modern feel. The music around here is very contemporary and, you know, I really like it. And the eject, honestly, the ejector airtime on there, stunning. But here we go. The next clip you're going to see is me, Sean Sandbrook from Theme Park Worldwide, getting absolutely soaked on a Hustop top spin. Let's go and have a ride. So I've sent Sean on blast. It's going to get soaked. <laughs> oh, he's soaked. <laughs>
why I didn't go on because Sean's got to drive back later. The sun's gone in. So he's not going to dry off. Look at that face. He is not happy. <laughs> And they're going again! Ah! This is so funny. This is why you don't go on water at this time of night. You're not going to dry out. Look at him. I am so glad that I didn't go on this. Crazy. Grilling if you want to cool down though. But the sun's gone. Have a little spin dry. I bet he's glad he took his shoes off now. He might as well have jumped in the lake. And there he is. I'm staying well clear of him until he's dried out. And there we go. There's the ride on the last. That is officially the best ride I've ever had on a Hus top spin. I mean, look but I'm glad I took my shoes off, else they would have been absolutely so. Look at I can, I can go around without my socks, but look at this. I am absolutely. Do I cuddle? No. <laughs> But that is the wettest I've ever got on like, that style of ride. I mean, I used to get wet on Ripsaw back in the day at Alton Towers, but that was absolutely nuts. But incredible. I mean, we actually got two cycles there as well on Blast, as it's called. Um, yeah, it was awesome. It was brilliant. But yeah, I am absolutely soaked. So I am going to be buying an Untamed t shirt, I think. But um, yeah, I'll be wearing these shorts for the night. Yeah. <laughs> My car seat's going to get a bit wet, but uh, there you go. Right, I think what we're going to do, and Charlotte's up with that, just doing, I'm going to do another ride on Tame. Are you going to come on for one last go? Yeah, come on for one last go. last go on there. And then I'm probably going to leave the park. We've, you know, we've done a lot here. It's been a brilliant day. And uh, yeah, we'll see you a little bit later on after we've had another ride on Untamed. Back here at the Wallaby Holland Hall of Fame to have a little look through the gift shop. Yeah, we like the shops. And look at this little display for Untamed over here. Yeah, I'm loving all this. These t-shirts, really nice. I'm actually gonna be purchasing one of these. Uh, I think they're great. I really like the branding for it. Like I said, I didn't know how I was gonna find it in person, but really like it. 
Got the mug there as well. It's got some uh, facts on. Do you like that? Bit of uh, chain down there as well. Let's head inside and have a little look. What we got then, Charlotte? What we got? The what? She's off. Oh, the mascot. There we are. Is it bad that I don't even know what the mascot's name is? Wallaby. Wallaby. Well, just Wallaby, is it? Wallaby. There we go. So this is one of the old seats just here from Condor, I believe. Obviously without the restraints. That's quite cool, isn't it? Here's some of your untamed merch. This is the T-shirt that I'm going to be purchasing. Right here, $24.95. Not the cheapest of shirts, but in terms of the quality, they look quite good. So I'm going to pick out one of them today, I think. You get a little light to hang up at home. There we are. Ask me about Lost Gravity. So if you wear that, you're going to get a lot of questions. They already own a bit of merch from here. I've got that mug already. Some really nice stuff. Loads of stuff for uh, Goliath. Go fast, dizzy, wild, Goliath. Nice mugs, loads of new merch, very good. 50% off these shorts over here. 50% off, Charlotte, 50% off over there. There we go. Got an Express, platform 13, mug, a Condor mug. Definitely won't be buying one of them, smash it. Then we got Hoggan, hashtag Hoggan. There we go, we like that, don't we? Give us a Hoggan. Hoggan. More mascot merch. These are quite cool. Get some old bits here from Robin Hood. A bit expensive, else I would have got them, especially with us having the car. But there you go, piece of the wood there, 70 euros. Because, you know, it's not really been a special ride to me, Robin Hood. Not like some of my childhood classics back home. Uh, I probably would have got that, to be honest. But yeah, I think that's more for people who grew up with the ride, to be honest. But yeah, loads of good merch. Merch has certainly got a lot better here. It was good when we came last time, but it's exceptional, I'd say, this time. Really good. So it's come to the end of our day here at Wallaby Holland. And what a fantastic day it's been. I've been to this park three times. First came in 2016, and this has been the best visit I've had here. It's been wonderful, hasn't it? Yeah, we've had a really nice day Really today. good day, and of course, it's been our anniversary. Thanks for joining us in this special vlog um, for that special occasion for us. Like, we really appreciate all of your support, don't we? And it really is great that you all enjoy our videos and follow our adventures. And we've got so much to come together, haven't yes. we? Uh, but yeah, I've really enjoyed it. What's been your highlight here today? What have you enjoyed the most? I had so many highlights. I enjoyed the splash battle. Yeah, that was I good fun. I enjoyed fun. my potato on a stick. Yeah. <laughs> and I enjoyed getting on my first RMC as well. Yeah, Even you got to go painful. on it. Yeah, a I bit painful, but you've been on it, and yeah. that's the main thing. And uh, you know, you might not find others as bad, but um, yeah, certainly they're not the most comfortable of rides. Um, I absolutely love Untamed. It certainly exceeded expectations for me. Uh, I thought it was going to be great. Was I expecting to be walking away from here with the coaster in my top five? Bear in mind I've done over a thousand now, it's a lot, isn't it? Yeah. But it's just relentless, and the thing about it as well, it's a, it is themed, it's got a very different theme to it, and it works. The trains look a lot better than what I was expecting. The overall package of the ride is great. The dispatch audio, when you're going all that lift, you're looking at the rest of it, and all that main queue line as well with all the old bits of Robin Hood. It's brilliant. The ride itself, so much ejector airtime, all the inversions, I loved it, and it got better throughout the day. With any RMC, if you only got the chance to ride it once on a day, save that ride until later on. They really do warm up, definitely. Uh, but yeah, other highlights, it's been really filming some really nice POVs, and they'll all be coming to the channel as separate videos as well in the near future. Um, that POV that we had on Goliath, Lost Gravity, uh, well, all the rides, it's been yeah. great. I like, really enjoyed it. Just want to say a big thank you to the park for allowing us uh, to use our chest mounted GoPro, of course. Um, you know, we contacted the park and they managed to arrange that for us, which is really good. Normally, it's something what they don't allow at this park. A lot of parks in Europe, they do allow it, but here, you do need that special permission. So thanks to the park for taping me up earlier on <laughs> and, uh, and us doing that. And of course, thanks for the fast track. We've not really needed it at all today, no. but it was a nice, kind gesture of them. Um, hopefully, they have a really successful season here. More people come to ride Untamed. It's a great experience. For me, this has been a more enjoyable part this time. I enjoyed it a lot in 20. 16 and then I came back last year I didn't enjoy it anywhere near as much and then we've come back today and uh, yeah I thought it was brilliant there's still work to be done in certain areas I think there's a long way to go with some parts of the park however in general uh, I thought it was great well, what are you doing? I was sliding off the car because my legs are all sweaty this car like is quite unique isn't it because if you look at it it's covered in fake 
grass. But there you go, what a fantastic day. We've got to end the vlog here like we did last time. It was all a dream, there you go, as you can see it up there. Uh, but no, it's been absolutely fantastic. Thanks for joining us on our sixth anniversary. And of course, Charlotte's first RMC and a brilliant day. Thanks for the part for a good one. And uh, yeah, that, thanks for watching another vlog here on Theme Park Worldwide. From me and Charlotte, that means it's time to cue those credits. See you in the next vlog.